Hello, I'm David Hare. And I'm Riley Robinson. Welcome to KSU News Now. Big changes are being made surrounding the requirement for face coverings to be worn inside Georgia schools. Reporter Ace Anderson is in Fulton County taking a look at the changes being put into place. Parents in the state of Georgia now have the chance to say whether or not their children have to wear a mask in schools. People are beyond frustrated. They want our kids in the classroom. At this point in the pandemic, we should leave it up to the parents. Earlier this year, Kemp with the Senate floor leader Clint Dixon introduced the Unmask Georgia Students Act. The bill would allow parents to control whether or not their child has to wear a mask in school. Students of parents who choose not to have their child wear a mask will not be required to show any sorts of certification. The governor's mansion is located here in Fulton County, one of the first school districts to adopt a mask optional model back in January. In fact, several Metro Atlanta counties, including Cobb and Gwinnett, have already abandoned mask mandates, but strongly encourage students to wear a mask at school and on buses. Some parents, like Chelsea Maltz, felt that the legislation was needed. Yes, I think it does. I think with the rates being as low as they are, that I don't think the masks are necessary, and especially having a six-year-old who's learning to read, seeing her teachers actually able to enunciate their words is very important. However, not everyone agrees with the legislation, like Sarah Matello, who has 20 years of experience as an educator. I think that it, I think masks should be required in schools. I was a classroom teacher for 20 years, and I think that there's going to be kids who still need to wear the mask because the pandemic still exists. Governor Kemp signed the bill into law late last month. Going into effect at his signature, parents can now decide whether or not their child has to wear a mask in schools. A.C. Anderson, Kennesaw, KSU News Now. The mask ban will last for five years until June 2027. Although lawmakers have acknowledged that a governor may override it in the case of a public emergency. Citizens are now able to carry a firearm without a permit following Governor Kemp's signature of Georgia's Constitutional Carry Act. The bill was signed into law by the state Senate on April 12th, allowing all law-abiding Georgia residents to carry concealed firearms without a permit. Gun owner Yancey Coker said he appreciates the freedom the bill will allow him and others. And I think it's a good move overall. Um, people should be able to carry guns and I'm in support of the Second Amendment. Critics of the bill, like Logan Widow, are concerned with the effect of loosened restrictions. I'm all for the Second Amendment, but I feel like uh, if weapons are easily accessible, that is increased violence. The bill will not apply to convicted felons or mental health patients of the past five years. Background checks will also remain mandatory when purchasing firearms to provide a safeguard to citizens. The Department of Career Planning and Development at Kennesaw State University is a great resource to help students further their careers after graduation. Kennesaw State Advisor Wade Thomas spoke to students about the importance of career planning and development. He showed students the tools and resources that the Department of Career Planning and Development has to offer. We offer interview coaching uh, with advisors and we also have uh, our interview stream online platform that, that students can use to kind of practice their interview skills. Thomas told students to keep their career options open and to not limit themselves to one career. For more information about the Department of Career Planning and Development, please visit the website below. Independent Grounds Coffee Shop has inspired the Kennesaw community through meaningful employment for individuals with intellectual and developmental disorders. Reporter David Battle spoke with Independent Grounds owner Lorna Hyde about how she has been providing opportunities to individuals with IDDs. The employees at Independent Grounds have been an inspiration to the community for the past two years and they will continue to serve you up a coffee with a smile. Independent Grounds owner Lorna Hyde shared her inspiration for opening the coffee shop and the importance of opportunities for people with IDDs. Part of it is providing meaningful opportunities for um, adults with special needs to work. A lot of jobs that have been available to them are sort of menial instead of meaningful. Employee Brian Nance expressed his love for his job, his boss, and the Kennesaw community. I've worked at a few other places and there's really nothing to do. But she's one of my really favorite bosses because she always comes up with these weird ideas that um, 
I like testing out and it makes me happy. Part of their mission is to serve a coffee with a smile and Hyde ensures her employees embody that daily. It depends on a person's ability levels, but I like every day to leave knowing that we've made people smile and that we've shown them what possibilities there are, um, either for in their own lives or other businesses or with their own children. 75% of people with developmental and intellectual disabilities are unemployed. But here at Independent Grounds, they've made it their mission to lower these statistics and overcome the stigma. David Battles, KSU News Now. The menu consists of a variety of coffee and espresso based drinks, as well as pastries. Hyde hopes the cafe will help people better understand individuals with special needs. A1 Broadcasting is a public broadcasting and personal relations company that assists companies and organizations with getting on television. CEO and owner Chuck Edmondson spoke with students about how some of the work the firm has done for companies and businesses all around the country. The firm specializes in satellite and radio media tours, but offers a range of services to clients. For more information about A1 Broadcasting, visit the website below. Kennesaw State University's Greek Life hosts the annual Greek Week, where organizations from all four Greek households come together to participate in a week's worth of fun. While the intent for Greek Week is to take part in fun and friendly competition, the main goal is to bring Kennesaw State's Greek Life together. Greek Week is an annual spring semester tradition where sororities and fraternities participate in the Olympic Games, Talent Show, and Carnival Night. Participants also host events like canned food drives and various philanthropic events to give back to the community. Kennesaw State student and Kappa Delta sister Kaylee Mansell says that Greek life means everything to her as it is one of the only times throughout this year that all of Greek life comes together. And when you think about it, this is one of the only events every year that incorporates all four Greek councils. So to have all of us come together, we only get this once in, or twice a year when we do homecoming and Greek week. So it's just nice to see everybody show out and put the same amount of effort into something that celebrates us as a whole. The week-long event gives all Greek members a chance to come together and celebrate their community and promote their philanthropies. Kappa Alpha brother Braden Beagle says he wishes that all of Greek life would come together more often and learn more about each other and the mission of each chapter. It's honestly great seeing everybody out here, like all the, you know, you may not know what a organization their letters are or what they do or anything. So now's the time to ask them and, you know, there's no better time like the present. It's a great opportunity for these councils to come together, even if it's just for one week. I know this is one of the many opportunities Kennesaw provides for their students to get involved. I'm Riley Robinson. And I'm David Heron. Thank you for watching KSU News Now.